Hello everyone, welcome to Chaudhary Data World channel. Today I am here with a new video in Matplotlib tutorial series that is scatter plot. We will be watching all the possible details on this scatter plot in this video. So let's get started with the video. Let me take you into the presentation screen. Over here, you can see that we are having this scatter plot. This is how it looks like. So basically, you can see or observe over here that there is one x-axis, there is y-axis. Between x-axis and y-axis, there are discrete numbers or you, you may say discrete data points which is scattered over on these both of the axes. So suppose if we are talking about this particular data point, so over here you can see that it has it is plotted on one uh, on y axis and then 0 0.5 around on the x axis. So this is the coordinate which is mapped over here in this particular scatter plot. Similarly, other data points also is scattered over these many ranges, which is coming out into between the y axis coordinate and x axis coordinates. Now let's to, uh, take a look how we can code this up. That means if suppose if you are having some particular data set, if you want to uh, create, uh, if you want to create a customized scatter plot with mat matplotlib, how we can do it? So the, there are basically two to three fundamental steps. Apart from that, whatever you are able to see a big chunk of code over here and then here. It's nothing but we are doing some customization into it. That's why the code become longer. Otherwise, only plt.scatter is enough to create the scatter plot in matplotlib. Now what plt is? plt is import library that is matplotlib.pyplot as plt. So this is your plt and plt.scatter is enough into which you can just pass the basic parameters like the x and y coordinates or you may say x and y data points whatever it is coming out from the data set. So if you would have provided this into plt.scatter it would have created a very basic custom, uh, very basic scatter plot. But since we are moving ahead with the customization as well that means we want to explore all the details. So we are having these many number of extra codes over here. We will judge it line by line what it is going on and what to be done when it is having some practical scenario. Let's jump to the VS code. Over here we are having this particular one as this right from here we, you can see that it is a scatter plot starting. So over here, what we have done, we have imported two library. First one is matplotlib, is of course, and another one is the numpy library. Why we have used numpy library? Because just to create the data set. Since we are not having any data set, physical data set over here right now. So what we are doing, we are creating a data set. That means we are creating data points, that is x data points and then y data points which we will be providing it into the scatter, plt.scatter. Now there is another two things created with numpy library with help of numpy library that is colors and then sizes. So these are all again are few of the random values it is getting created. Now we will see further that what this color and sizes are. Here in plt.scatter two parameters we are very much aware of now. Now coming to the C equals to colors. So C equals to color marker color based on the data. Okay. So which is, this colors is nothing but your this color which is coming out from the np.random.arrayand50. So what it is giving out? So it is giving out some arbitrary value which is getting passed into this colors. And similarly for the marker size as well as equals to sizes. Okay. Now we are having C map equals to cool warm. It can be changed to another set of arguments as well. That means if you want to put out because here you can see that how it, it is giving out you uh, 
look into the scatter plot that is it is basically cool warm that is red is for warm and this blue is for cool correct so it is in between this now we'll again switch back to it alpha equals to 0 7 that means transparency of the markers so here you can see that we are having the round circles it is only called as markers now what how, what should be the transparency of it it is getting defined by the alpha value over here now marker equals to o what all other markers can be this marker o it means that o is uh, standing for circle since we have defined it as o so we got it circle if you want to define another marker you can take help of this particular slide into which i have mentioned that marker style you can choose it between these things that you can choose O, S for a square, this for triangle, this for triangle. So all these things you can just take a screenshot so that you can play around with all the arguments. Now we are having edge color equals to K that means edge color of the marker you can see that it is black correct that it, it is rounded as black and between it has been filled with the color correct so this black is coming from color equals to uh, is color equals to k line width definitely the width of the line width of the marker is 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 equals to one we are providing here level equals to random data so what this level is you can see that over here we are having random data fine random data and this level it is coming out here with this particular marker okay till now we are, we are pretty much clear add a color bar so what this color bar is let's take a look you can see that over here this particular one this particular one is your color bar why we have given it just to uh, ease of the viewer that what this color is representing so if it is extreme blue that means the value is shifting towards 0 0.2 if it is ex um, extreme red then it the value is shifting towards 0 0.8 Let, now let's verify it so what you can see over here this particular point or let's talk about this particular point what it is telling out to it is telling out that the data point value is shifting towards 0 0.2 okay this is in combination a heat map as well heat map is what heat map is nothing but your mapping of data points basis of the color segment now we have segmentized the color between red and uh, blue so it is creating the data points along with its value okay its value is coming into the color and color you can see over here how it is mapped fine now you are we are having add labels and a title with custom font and size so definitely x-axis label it is uh, um, there is x-axis written over here in x-axis label y-axis label we are having y-axis written x-axis color is blue y-axis color is green so you can see y axis color is green over here x axis color is blue over here the font size font weight each of the thing thing we have already described over here fine title also we are providing over here the customized scatter plot with font size and font weight you can see right this is the customized uh, you may say title over here now we are having very interesting thing just to focus because this particular one is something which you can miss so the here you we are having customizing axis limit and tick mark what this axis limit and tick mark is so over here you can see that we are having the axis limit as one and here, over here you can see that again axis limit as one it's not one it's approximately 1.2 because it will come over here it will also come over here how it is coming out it is coming out since we are defining it the x limit as 0 to 1.2 that means whatever the data point is it doesn't depend that if that particular data point it is getting fit in between this particular ranges or not 
but since we are interested in these ranges only so we are taking up these ranges that means we are defining the limit of x axis and limit of y axis limit what it is definitely i have told you that right from 0.0, .0 to 1.2 it is your limit over here on the y axis again in x axis 0.0, .0 to 1.2 it is the limit of the x axis if the suppose data point it is coming out to be 3.2 it will not be mapped into this particular scatter plot why we are not taking the limit till 3.2 hope this uh, uh, you got this point if not just rewind for uh, uh, for 15 to 20 seconds back you will again listen it you will get to understand that what i am trying to tell now you are having plt dot x tick and then y tick how it is coming out it is coming out with np dot arrange np dot arrange is nothing but it is giving out the value as suppose it is giving you value as zero and then with the step of two zero then zero point two then zero point four then zero point eight then one like this and then 1.2 so this np dot arrange is giving this particular value fine now this we are only providing as the tick what tick is you can see right 0 0.0 0 0.2 0 0.4 0 0.6 0 0.8 1.0 so this is your tick for the x-axis and the y-axis so x tick tick is defined for the x-axis y tick is defined for the y tick uh, y axis add a lesion lesion is nothing but whatever we are having here label defined right label random data this is your lesion okay this lesion should be on the top right corner correct so it is location equals to upper right font size equals to 10 all these things uh, you can provide whatever this is the value you can just provide add grid lines now if you want grid line into your uh, plot or not definitely you can see in the backward there is a square square block boxes this is only called the grid line now this grid line also we can customize it either you can provide or we can can't provide if you are providing it we can control the transparency of the grid line as well now how we can control it with the alpha value we can control the transparency of the grid line now what all parameters we are providing over here plt dot grid under that true is the default parameter then there is line style equals to double dash right this line style you can definitely change it i have shown you the one one uh, slide or from here you can plot the line style either you can put solid line dash line dotted line dash dot line all these things you can provide it from there now we are having plt dot save figure if you want to save the figure whatever it is getting generated now let's see how it is getting generated first so if you will click on shift plus enter the things will go over here and you can see that this customized scatter plot is plotted now it is coming out that if suppose this particular figure whatever it has been generated if you want to save what if you want to save? Just provide this PIT dot save figure and then the location where you want to save this particular figure. DPI is nothing but your quality of the figure which will be saved out. BB box inches is tight that means the padding it, it, it works for the padding. If you want to have this uh, 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 figure right shifted or left shifted, upper shifted, bottom shifted this is what it is handling plt dot so is nothing but it is the important uh, command which is uh, when executed it is showing up all the uh, whatever we are having this uh, figure coming out from whole of the uh, previous data line uh, this previous codes it will be shown out with this plt dot so only so that was approximately whole about this scatter plot and hope you got all the points and whatever what's to be covered up if any confusion let me know into the comment section definitely i will be coming out with another video on some another plot so stay tuned to the channel till then thanks guys